Today we're going to be looking at knee pads or knee sleeves for sports. I have several different brands all the way from Nike to McDavis to other brands you'll find online. Hopefully this review will help you out to find the best knee pad for you with the best materials, the best comfort, and the one with the best style. Let's get into it. To begin this review, I have all the knee sleeves set on a table so you can compare them side to side. I have the Nike one, which is the most expensive one for $40. Then I have the Kwame. Hopefully I said that correctly. The one goes for $36. The McDavid's ranges between $20 to $35 depending on the color and size. Then I have the Buck Wild, which goes for $22. This brand right here is the Hi Re. Again, hopefully I said that correctly. This one goes for $20. And then I have the JBM, which goes for $9. As you can tell, several of these knee sleeves have similar materials. This fast, quick drying wickening material. Pretty much on all these five right here, except for the JBM. The JBM is more of a thicker material. Let's see if you can see this up close. It's a thicker material, but it does feel really nice when you're wearing it. I know a big thing when you're playing basketball is you wanna feel comfortable and stay cool. So these right here are gonna do a great job of that. This one right here, it does feel comfortable, but because it's really thick, you are going to get really hot in this knee pad. Also, for drying, because it is real thick, you're probably going to gather a lot of sweat in this material. And when you wash it, it's probably going to take a longer time to dry as well. Something that stands out from the book wound knee sleeve is the material is really, really soft compared to all the other materials. These all feel good when you're wearing them, but just this one is extra, extra soft. So this one's gonna be the thicker out of all these other four up here. Now put it up close so you can see that. It almost looks like a fleece, but it's not. The inside's really smooth. The knee sleeve that has the best padding is going to be the Nike one. Because if you take a look, it doesn't have a material that goes over it. It's kind of like a rubber material that's padded. So if you happen to fall, it's not going to rip. So that's a big plus for durability. This one has a material over it. This one as well. These two. And this one has a thicker material for the padding. So it's less likely to rip. Just have that in mind. The one that provides the most coverage for protection is going to be this brand, the Kuang Ming, because it has protection for the knee and also the shin area. So that's really nice. So which of these knee sleeves is going to have the best style? That one's going to be this one, the Kuang Ming. It's decked out in all black with some yellow highlights. Flip it around, you can see the graphics. Let me give you a close up. Yeah, pretty rad design when you're on the court. As far as being comfortable and wearing a knee sleeve, you have to size it correctly. The right way to do that is to measure the circumference around your thigh. Because this is going to be the area that holds up the knee sleeve. And all of these do a good job in staying up. Knee sleeves have come a long way. 
and flip these over so you can see. Even the Nike one that doesn't have this type of gel to hold it up, if you size it correctly, it is going to stay up. Every now and then, obviously, you got to readjust it. And just for a reference, if you're wondering, all the knee sleeves that I have for today, they are all size large. So what's the verdict on these knee sleeves? Which is the best one for you? Well, it all depends what you're looking for. These right here are the full length, as you can tell, and these are the shorter length. So if it bothers you and you're trying to stay cool, maybe something like this with the weakening material is going to be perfect. But if you don't mind the long length and you're looking for style, this one's going to be the best one. And you can't go wrong with Nike. Definitely if you fall a lot, this is not going to rip, so this is going to be perfect. And these two, maybe if you have allergies, this one might be the best. Because we mentioned that it's the more softer material. And I have been using this brand, like I mentioned earlier, for many years. And I always liked this brand. It's always been um, pretty good to me. Maybe I bought like six or seven of these throughout the years and only one rip for me because I don't fall a lot. Usually if I fall, I catch myself. So for me, um, this one has been really solid as well. So hopefully this review helped you out and you were able to find something in your price range and something that's going to work for you. Now, one tip I do want to mention, there's a pro tip. If you buy any of these, the best thing to do is to hand wash them, but who has time to hand wash them, right? So I never had a problem putting them in the washer, but this is very important. Do not put them in the dryer, because the dryer is going to kill the elastic for staying up on all of these. So make sure you don't do that, you air dry them. One last tip. I know sometimes we have a hard time keeping these on because that happens sometimes. This is a pro tip right here. If you happen to wear the padding for the shorts where you wear underneath, it has padding for the thighs. I have this one right here which is uh, the McDavid brand. And what you can do is when you're wearing this underneath, this can wrap around and it can be held on to the padding right here. I do that all the time and it does help out because sometimes it does kind of slide a little bit down you got to pull it up. Having that come in like this and go around the padding, very helpful. I do want to mention that I'm having a giveaway right now. You know we're all basketball here, I'm giving out a pair of sneakers, $130 or less. All you gotta do is find that video and comment in that video. Appreciate you guys and until next time.